Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Full clear and having a, um, a scaling mid laner as well. So I want to see Dinatos right now. You could slam a roaming mid laner for blue. He hasn't played a ton of roaming mid lane champions. Good job, the river. Yes, you know what's happening. You saw him do it, but you don't know the exact health bar, and it's not going to be in range for any of the smites. Whatever price thought would have the blast plant. And ultimately, just Licorice holding on to his farm underneath the turret has the sheen. Uh, we tend to see Divine Sunder more than anything else in this champion. Nice bit of CC, and Leona is not going to live for very long. Finally flashed away, but Ignite could be enough. River there, just to make sure the E-Flash kills it. No trade kill in. First blood. Towards mid to answer, and it's just going to be the uh, two-plate knockoff here for the Rift Trails. So the basic minimum value of right. objective achieved. Basic minimum. All the money also, by the way, goes directly to Pride Stalker. He's on what I believe to be Sunderer based on his build Ult path. Trade. Ult's gonna come down. There's the old trade. Gets the heal. Needs to stay alive. Needs to kite it out. Repose for a bit of time. Will Ignite do the rest <laughs> Oh, the last pick of Ignite kills him. Fake God burns every cooldown and burns down. Oh, I love it. That's why we love watching the skill matchups. Coming down to the last autos here. The flash into the brush but Ignite taken by Licorice finally pays off. We can slow it down to, to look at the actual every single trade, but bottom side first. This is dangerous. That's a warden hop into a kick, into a kill for Neo, and now it's Ole's turn to die as well. Biofrost stop wants to drop the aggro. River grabs his second, an immaculate die. Get Dragon off of it. All right, here's another look at it. Licorice does have the, oh. Ekrim <laughs> killed Nautilus, and he wants Neo as well, but the purple gun is there for the root. Gets him out. Still. <laughs> AD reduction is on him. Kind of waits it out here. Goes back in for another Q for the reduced cooldown. Can't get the, the right <laughs> side one. I appreciate the observers trying yes. to give us respect on their name, okay? Yeah, the question is how good do the trades look afterwards because we got to look at the bottom lane again. They're leasing coming in, but a great stun out from Leona. Kick back on the team. They stun up, though, and that could be kills on a Neo. Reinforcements have arrived as well, and a deletion comes through. Sonic a bit early, but the reinforcements make it a one for one. Yeah, flashes on bottom side, so it looks like they're going to try and defend a, a little bit here. Ah, they give up bottom turret while Hecram is taking mid. Rift Trail number two is going to finish off. Now, full control up here after winning two back-to-back -back 1v1s will be rewarded with tower gold. Nice. With the rest of the team that has been, you know, slowly giving up more and more room. We got eight seconds now to the dragon spawns and Golden Guardians really hope they can stop the stacking. Hook comes in already. Looks pretty good, but it could be Biofrost drop flow as well. Hecarim to the back line finds one. Lost is alive. Azonia is used for a moment there as Blue wants to buy some time, but oh! no good way out. Isolated for the Qs. Prize Stalker heals as much as he can, but River will trade it back. Looks like a three to one team fight though. Golden Guardians got what they wanted. Golden Guardians, though, they win the team fight, they get the rewards, they stop the Dignitas Dragon stacking. There will be no early soul point for yeah, Dig. What you kind of have in this champion is you can run out of mana because you're so tempted to like spam your E for an attack reset, spam your Q because it applies like all this stuff, like just supplies your team. Uh, just, you know, probably going to be okay here. Just, you know, one out of 100 games, you're like, ooh, wow, I oomed and that was going to be a really important fight. Uh, but we got Hecram diving in, looking for the fight right now. River wants to get back into this game, fighting away from the Fiora. Good CC and Pride Stalker kicked around, holds back in and has reinforcements. Blue jumps in, gets two, just deletes him. But River's not going to find his way out. So kills come back in, lost. So where did it go, but has to respect Neo. Red, white, take the fight. Oh, flash the flash. That was damn impressive. But Neo cannot outrun a laser. Ah, he, can run out. he could sell it by this point. You don't have to, but like, he can. Yeah, he can sell it at any point in this game. Uh, Later, here we go though. Engage comes across deletion. Neo can't get away. His flash was down. This one's gonna matter. So already Pride Stalker's on the board. Thank you very much for that one. Lost. Claims to second. Trades back now into Ole. But what else can Blue get done? Gonna get CC'd up. And this time Aaron. around, the zone is not turned into a double kill. Now River is alive, as is Fake God. We just lost and Pride Stalker on it. You see Victor trying to clear the mid wave because Fake God was trying to push to counter it. River has snuck back over. And now Lands they know. the Q. They know he's here. So stop DPS. Stop You've got a DPS. job, bud. You've got a job. you got to find him. If you can't get over the wall, there's not going to get much you can do. And knows all right. Off of reset, they will be able to get themselves to soul point. Really well done. Even a good trinket to make sure it's going to be all all right. They can even see the blast plant things with Scryer's Bloom. And there's no teleport. They know. Blue has no teleport. He has to wait for a full channeled recall. So Dignitas are just giving up their inhibitor. Because Blue pushed out another minion wave on bottom side. They don't want to fight it, Freak. They don't think they can win it. A lot in top lane. Could be thumbs up. He's like, I was bringing that one up. 
I saw it in time. Now the engage for Biofrost. Oh, wow. Oh. Lost is gone. This could be the fight that Dignitas need. A stopwatch buys some time. Fake Guy gets away. Ignite is on. He will have to ult it. Hecarim hits the back line. Fiora goes in for a bit more. And I've seen this one play out as well. It's a horror movie. And the entire team just dies. Fake God hides in the closet. Looking through the slits. It's blood everywhere. It's Golden Guardian just hacking through every single Dignitas member with a machete, with a rapier, with any anything in the kitchen, and it's slims split around. I don't know what we're doing, but Golden Guardians do. It's 26 and a half in. We got a top lane Fiora. We got no teleports in the top lane, and we have a dead Nexus. Golden Guardians take down Dignitas. Fiora undefeated in the LCS, Freak. Licorice, 100% win rate Fiora. Absolutely.